Now we have seen some examples of how we can mine a process model. We got to learn the alpha algorithm and we have also seen the heuristic mining approach. One very important consideration is that at many stages we want to abstract. The heuristic miner already provides us with certain means for doing that. In order to do abstraction, it is a very useful idea to think of clustering. And clustering technically means that we consider the different traces and the patterns of behavior that they show us and think of questions of how can we put different activities together in a box, this would be a cluster, in order to better understand how they relate to the rest of the process. This is exactly the idea of the fuzzy mining approach. It builds on the observation that we can identify correlations between activities. The essential idea is that if activities A and B always occur together, that maybe we can put them together in one bigger activity that is more abstract in order to better understand how they relate to the rest of the process. This means correlation is the first step that we need to do. And based on these correlations, we can then define clusters. You see here again the example of the result that we got from the heuristic miner, simply to illustrate this idea. One of the very strong connections that we have in terms of behavior here is that activities A, B and C always need to be executed for running the process. This provides a very strong tie between these three activities. And this can be used for identifying a cluster which includes all these three. And this is actually very interesting also from the domain perspective, since our process model has always this building block. And then we can better understand and focus on the different options of how we can complete the process. This is a very powerful way of abstracting. And it's very helpful to consider all these different options.